Welcome to Desk Geek. I am so excited to finally be doing this video. So I've been working on a project for the last couple weeks to learn how to code HTML and CSS, get a website up and running, and then unveil it to the community and hopefully get some of your help. Now, as you guys know, we've done lots of awesome things in Linux with a very powerful machine. I did recently the video of behind the scenes of my Linux rig, which was viewer requested. We've done game design. We've done graphic design. We've done gaming. We've done all kinds of cool things. And the whole goal here is just to show, and those who use Linux are like, yeah, I know this, but others who are just getting into it to show that anything that you do within Windows or other operating systems, you can also do in Linux for a lot cheaper too. And without all the registration keys and product keys and all that junk you gotta deal with. So I wanted to do web development. So I went to codeacademy.com, that's where I started and went through some of their courses. I also used this book here, HTML and CSS, which was an awesome book. I had a couple others, but this was definitely my favorite by John Duckett and uh, helped give me some full color examples and code that I could implement into my site, and here it is. So I'm gonna take you through the site real quick, what I've been able to do. Now, if you're an experienced web coder, do not inspect the code, because you're gonna laugh. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna make fun of me, um, and I, I ask that you help. Uh, and I actually, that's the first part of the site. When you come to the home page here, you're gonna see the community code doc. And once I go through the site, I'm going to show you all the tools that I use uh, to build this. But the community code doc is a way for you if you want. Uh, if you're a business or an individual and you want to contribute some code, I ask you keep it simple or explain it really well what it does because I'm not an expert and it'll take me a while to incorporate all of it. But this is really to help take the 2,500 plus people we have now on my channel and 6,000 people on Twitter and merge them together and kind of get the community starting to interact with each other in other ways, even outside of YouTube. So this is a little bit about the community, community of geeks, common goal filling our brains with knowledge of anything technical and geeky, people around the world. Um, you know, not a safe place where ideas are not going to be challenged, but a place where everybody should feel comfortable to have a conversation and uh, all inclusive, obviously. So talk about that. Welcome to the Geeks Only Club. We got some geek swag here. I love this T-shirt. Um, if you guys haven't played with eSpeak in your terminal yet, you can uh, basically install eSpeak and then type eSpeak and then any words and it will repeat it in a robotic voice. Just a fun little thing within Linux. And this shirt has eSpeak Fatal Exception. This little diggy windows fill your brains there so you can check out that shirt. And I'm going to do a new shirt every 30 days and that helps support the channel, the funds from that. Plus you get some cool swag out of it. And I would love if you guys would post pictures of those who've gotten the last shirts that I did on Twitter, I would love to see folks wearing them. That would be awesome. I've got the Discord uh, widget here and the Twitter widget. So anytime I tweet, that's there. This takes you to my YouTube channel. This is the friend section. You can see this little penguin I created. Stop laughing. This is as good as I could do. Little penguin I created, kind of a little take on, on Tux there. And uh, I also did some really bad animation work but i wanted to show you could do animation within linux so you, you guys will see just sit tight you're gonna have lots to laugh about um so patreon we'll be doing something with that soon of course some friends of dos geek some of you subscribers some of the folks i work with uh on podcasts like destination linux some favorite sites some gear that i love and i'll keep updating that stuff the shop will take you to teespring we got a video archive which takes you to blogger and that's because youtube interacts directly with blogger so it was very easy for me to just when i upload a video archive it there on blogger versus trying to do it here on the site so if you want to look back uh in a different format through some of the videos you can do that there uh discord chat this is where i have my little animation prepare yourselves people you're going to be blown away. oh look look at that see he's kind of like he's shy you know because some people if it's a new kind of uh chat channel people won't come in because they're like oh there's only one guy there and this dos geek and i don't know what to say to that nerd and so you know that's the <clears throat> It's as good as I could do. So come say hi. Don't be shy. I hang out there generally at night for a few hours. Uh, but also if you see other people there, talk to them about Linux. 
talk to them about your machine, talk to them about specs, what games they're playing, anything. Uh, just a cool place to come hang out. And then the Fill Your Brains blog. And this is uh, a WordPress integration that was done through my host. You can basically just install the WordPress package through them in an automated way. So nothing fancy here, but works very well. And uh, I do some behind the scenes little um, articles every once in a while, a couple times a week generally. Uh, give you some behind the scenes views into some of the videos and things that I do, maybe some commentary, general thoughts, that type of thing, new projects I'm working on. Uh, so you can go there and check that out again, just uh, another place for us to kind of hang out and get the home button, which will bring you back to this page here. So that's it. That's the website. It's simple. Uh, some of the art and things I use Pixabay to kind of get some templates or ideas from, and you can see they have a lot of royalty-free options there. So this is a good tool if you're out there looking to build your site to get some clip art and things uh, to fill your site with. But a lot of the stuff I custom created, like that terrible looking penguin uh, that you saw on the one page there. So I'm gonna show you some of the tools uh, that I used here. So this is Google Web Designer. And this is a really awesome tool. It has a native Linux uh, installation. None of this uses Wine. Every tool I use is native Linux here. Um, so you can just uh, go through here and take an image and drag it from your uh, asset side in here. And then you can hit play and you can see I was just messing around with that little guy. Um, and you can add additional frames and you can change the transitions in between the frames and the amount of seconds. A great way to create advertisements, little banners, little animations and things. Although I will tell you Adblocker does block it. So if you don't see the animation on my page, you probably have Adblocker on. Um, so they definitely look for that Google code to uh, block because a lot of this is made for uh, kind of advertising, obviously being Google and building and stuff like that. But a really simple tool for somebody who's not an animator professionally, but you want to get some simple animations. And you could obviously do a lot better than what I did, add a lot more frames and make it look smoother, but a cool tool to play with nonetheless. Uh, GIMP is a must. Uh, I've done a lot of logo design and the first t-shirts and everything using GIMP. So absolutely love it. And generally I use GIMP to kind of get my general framework and, and art developed. And uh, then I will use a tool like Krita, which I'm just in love with this tool to really add the impact. And so you can see the new ending of the show and things. A lot of that I design and build within between GIMP and Krita. Krita is a fantastic tool for adding special effects and things to your pictures or colorizing them or really making them pop. So it's an awesome tool. It, what I love about Krita is it's very user friendly. If you're new into this type of stuff, the tools are where they should be. Everything kind of makes sense. It's very, very well laid out and designed. The menu system, the tools, everything tells you exactly what it does and how to interact with it. And it shows you all of your assets that you have within the picture. And you can just do a lot of cool things with it. Uh, obviously adding text and uh, changing and adding lines and vertices and all that fun stuff and all kinds of unique ways to paint and add neat things into your picture. So, absolutely love Krita. Um, Fire FTP is what I use to upload to my website provider. So this you can just download through Mozilla's add-ons. That was the simplest one. There are many FTP options. In fact, there are many HTML coders, many HTML options. There's many graphic designing programs. These are just the ones that I use that I liked. Uh, but there are tons of options out there. And if you're looking for alternatives to some of the ones that I have, maybe you get in it and don't like it, go to Alternative 2 website and just type in whatever tool I'm using. It'll give you a whole list of things that you can use instead. Brackets is the main coder. So this is where I did all the coding for my site. And uh, I just love the way it was laid out. I love the preview option that you have here, which also is a live preview. So as you make certain changes, if you're doing some major overhauls, it's not going to show up. But as you're doing certain changes to your code, you'll actually see it change on your site here. And that menu system with the little glowy bars, that took way longer than you might expect for me to figure out. But I eventually got it. So I'm very proud of this, what most of you would consider not a great menu. But I'm very proud of it. Look at that. See, it highlights as you move your cursor. Fancy stuff here. All right. So this is where I do my code and I have everything kind of organized 
and the CSS and the HTML, and I love brackets. Now, the interesting thing is, while I have this powerhouse machine here, uh, everything that I did, I actually did through Ubuntu Budgie on my little 2012 MacBook Pro. It's not a very powerful machine at all, but it could run all of these programs. And I did most of the graphics and even the animation and the coding on that little machine, uh, which shows you really the power of Linux from both sides. You powerhouse machine, obviously, may be able to do some of the rendering for videos and things very quickly. But as far as doing things like web design and stuff, uh, it could run all these applications, Krita, GIMP. Uh, brackets, all of that, Google Web Designer without any issues. So pretty awesome there. So I hope you guys get onto the Discord channel. Come talk to me. I hope you guys enjoy the site. Go check it out. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains.